Mike Reese with 2011 Saluki Hall of Fame inductee Troy Hudson. Welcome. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Hall of Famer. Yeah. Is this big to you? Oh, this is huge. Why is that? Hall of Fame. I mean, Hall of Fame. Yeah. Hall of Fame. <laughs> just, but you've accomplished so much on a bigger stage. Mm -hmm. This is still big to you? Oh, it, it's, it's huge for, for me and just for the community of Carbondale. You know, I'm, I'm a homeboy. I'm from Southern Illinois and being able to, to be inducted into the Hall of Fame and in the, in the city where you were born and raised and played basketball yeah. all your life is, is a great honor. I'm guessing your family's pretty stoked about this too. I, they, they may be more stoked <laughs> than me. <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, what do you recall most, before I get into stats and everything, yeah. what mm -hmm. do you recall most about playing at Southern? Um, just, just uh, you know, the, the support of Southern Illinois um, mm -hmm. from, from fans, from all walks of life in Southern Illinois. I think that's what drove me and helped me to accomplish the things that I've accomplished um, throughout my career is just the hometown support. Yeah. You still got school records. You got 11 threes in Hawaii, yeah. which is a school record. You have the number two number. You had 10 at Indiana State in 96. Okay. That's number two. Mm -hmm. um, you averaged 21 points per game in your career and only three players have done that, mm -hmm. 20 points or more in a career. Um, have you got a favorite game? Have you got a moment? Have you got something that sticks out in your um, mind, Troy? I think so. Um, yeah. The 11 three-pointers in Hawaii, not because it was 11 three-pointers, but up until that time, you know, I had, I had just got back here in Carbondale. Right. Um, I had to sit out the first few games of, of, of the year. Mm -hmm. And when I got back, my first two or three games were horrific. You know, <laughs> I, I couldn't throw it in the ocean. So, yep. you know, I, I'm at home and everybody was happy for me to be back here. They were uh, expecting great things out of me. And I couldn't throw it in the ocean. And I took the Hawaii trip and it just turned on from there. Do you remember that gym? I Bowen think, Jim was it was bigger than oh, that gym. And you know what? And, <laughs> it was I, wet. And you know what? And I think that's probably the reason why I had a good showing. <laughs> <laughs> do you ever wish? I want to ask you two questions about Missouri. Mm -hmm. Do you ever wish you stayed there? No. No. Uh, I don't. I don't wish I stayed there because I I'm the type of guy and that goes off of instinct. And and when I do something, I think it's the will of God. And you know. I left there and I'm in this position now, yeah. so it was the right choice. Do you ever wish you hadn't gone there and what might have been different? No, not at all. It worked out the way it should? It, yes, definitely. It, um, what was it like when you declared early? Now, that's nothing. Yeah. But for Southern, it was Chris Carr and mm -hmm. then it was you and that's the only one. Can you take us back to that time? What was that like when you made that decision? Um, it was one of those decisions again. Um, I felt like it was time for me to move on. And once again, the whole community of Southern Illinois supported mm -hmm. me. No one said that that's a dumb move, you're not gonna make it, why would you do that? Mm -hmm. No one did that. Mm -hmm. Everyone said, you know, good luck, go knock them dead, and, mm -hmm. and that's the support that I talk about. That's what you wanted to do. Yes. Was make it to the league. Yes. And that's you were hell bent to do that. Yeah, it was not, nothing was going to stop me. Did you think about that every day when you woke up? Oh, definitely. Every, every single I got to get to the league. Got to get there. And I'm going to shoot. And I'm going to shoot. That's, <laughs> that's what's going to get me. <laughs> that's what's going to get me yeah. there. You know, and so I'm thinking you don't get drafted after you declare early mm -hmm. in 97, yep. but you still make it the next year. Mm -hmm. Utah signs you as a free agent, mm -hmm. and you get to play eight games that year, and you come out of a mid-major school, and you make it the f undrafted, and yes. you make, that has to be the best feeling. It was, it was a great feeling. It, yeah. was, it, was, it was a great feeling, but I, I knew that I wasn't going to get drafted. So I, I kind of already had dealt with that when I left school. I mean, I knew I wasn't going to get drafted, you know, but I knew that I was going to make it, yeah. you know, so it, it didn't matter whether I got drafted or not because I was destined to make it. I remember interviewing you soon after you played and you talked a lot about John Stockton and Carl Malone helping get you going in the NBA. Were they key? Oh, definitely they were key. I mean, prof they're professionals to the, to the highest degree. You know, um, they came every day. They were early. They, were, they, they stayed late. They worked hard every day. They outworked everyone else, even though they were all-stars each year. And just seeing them um, be professionals at their craft, I think it, it really propelled me to the next level. Were there others with the Jazz who were key? Um, yes, Jerry Sloan um, and, and David Fredman. I think, you know, they really seen my work ethic. They knew I came from a small town. You know, they're from Southern Illinois, so sure. good homeboys. Uh, 
And I think they, they really understood what it takes to make it to the NBA from an area that, that we were all from. And I think they, they, they looked at that and said, you know what, he deserves a chance. And they, and they gave me that chance. I don't know if you know this, but in Salukiville, only Walt Frazier played longer than you in the NBA. Mm -hmm. um, did you get everything out of your NBA career you could have? Um, I think so. Yeah. You know, I mean, I could sit back and say, if I wouldn't have got hurt, Rip. if this, if that, but I mean, that's the way, that's the way it went. Yeah. I mean, that was in God's will, so I got everything and more out of my career. Congratulations, Mr. Hall of Famer. Thank Troy you. Troy Hudson. Well Thank done. You. Well done. Thank you. Troy Hudson, Saluki Hall of Famer.